Numerical Computation, Chapter 9, Video 1. In this chapter, we study numerical solution of ordinary differential equations. And we will use the abbreviation ODE to refer to ordinary differential equations. So a very unverbal definition of an ODE would be that it's an equation which contains one or more ordinary derivatives of the unknown function. So typically the unknown function will be a function of one variable. Therefore the derivatives are ordinary derivatives. Now let's um, just take a look at some ODEs. Um, say for example x is my unknown and it's a function of t and that an ODE could be that the the derivative of x with respect to t equals to x squared. Or it can be second derivative of x plus x times x prime, that's the first derivative, plus 4 equal to 0, etc. We will be mainly considering the initial value problem for first order ODE in the following form. The derivative of your unknown is given as a function of time t and of your unknown. That is the differential equation. And there is an initial condition given. At initial time t0, x is given as x0. And this is called initial condition, and we will call it ic. Okay, some simple example of an ODE with initial condition say x prime equals to 2 and x0 equals to 0. So which function its derivative is constant to? So we know it's a the graph of the function has to be a straight line with slope 2 and by putting in the um, initial condition x0 equal to 0 we see that the only solution will be xt equals to 2t. Let's see another example, x prime of t equals to 2t, and x0 equal to 0. Well, you can integrate both sides, and uh, you get an arbitrary integration constant. It will be t squared plus a constant c. And then you put in the initial condition that c is 0, and your solution is t squared. Okay, say another example, x prime equals to x plus 1, x0 equal to 0. The solution will be et minus 1. So um, if you don't know how to obtain this solution, at least one could plug this function back into the ODE. So differentiate x prime and then you put on the left hand side and then you plug in the expression for x on the right hand side. One can verify the equation holds and one can verify the initial condition also holds and therefore this is the solution. So I want to say these are a few examples where the equations are simple, that one have a way of constructing its solution. In a um, general situation, especially if f is a nonlinear function of x, finding exact solutions can be very difficult or impossible. So we now will seek approximate solutions meaning by some numerical methods and we find some approximations to the exact solution. And the approximate solution will be um, constructed only at discrete sampling point, which we refer to as the grid. So for most of the discussion, we will be using a uniform grid for the time variable so you choose a little time step and call it h, which is a small positive quantity. And then um, you just sample through time starting from t0. And then every two neighboring time step, tk plus 1 minus tk, equals to h. So every time you take the same step size. Okay? So this gives a simple way of computing tk, which is just from t0 plus k times h, so how many steps you take. And then until you reach the final time, which is tn, n is the final time step. So given an ODE and the final computing time tm, 
what we do will be seeking discrete values xn which shall approximate the exact solution at the grid point tn okay and the n goes through all the grid points and which will give us t from t0 all the way to tn so a brief overview of the chapter this is going to be a long chapter we'll go through quite a few numbers of um, methods and talk about a few different aspects so we'll go to Taylor series method with arrow estimates and we go to the class of Runge-Kutta methods first order second order and fourth order and then we talk about um, adaptive um, Runge-Kutta method and then there will be multi-step methods introduced and then we will look at system of ODEs where you have more than one equations and they are coupled with each other and then we look at higher order equations and system and we'll talk about also one phenomenon that causes great difficulty in computation that is a stiff system and then we will um, explain various MATLAB solvers Hope you're excited and let's get started.